Hello flag football coaches and flag football players, my name is football coach Allen and today I'm going to talk to you about some 6 on 6 double split back flag football plays. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. I really hope that they help your team win more games. Okay, so in this first football play, what we're going to be having is player 4 and 5, they're going to be curling out towards the sidelines. Next, we're also going to be having players 3 and 2 going down 10 to 15 yards. And then they're going to be cutting back in towards center field. What we're going to be hoping for here is for the defense to be covering one of these two players on each side. And essentially should allow us to be able to get that ball downfield. Our number one options are players four and five. And our backup options are players two and three. Now, player six will go up about 5 to 10 yards and he will cut either left or right depending on what his defensive player is doing. In this second football play what we're going to be having now our number one options are either going to be player 3 or player 4. Now going from there what we're going to be having is first player 6 once player 1 gets that ball he's going to be going straight downfield about 10 yards and then 45 degree angle out towards that right side. Player 5 is going to be doing the same except for him he's going to be going up to either this line or that line which would be a 5 to 10 yard gain and he's going to be cutting out towards the left sideline at a 45 degree angle. Now our number one options. What we're going to be having here is player four going up to the line of scrimmage in a 45 degree angle and then he's going to be cutting straight out towards the sideline. Meanwhile before we get that ball hiked back we're going to be having player two. He's going to be going behind the line of scrimmage waiting going left and then he's going to be going and cutting downfield either straight or a little bit of an angle towards the five yard line and at this point he's going to be going either left or right depending on what the defense is giving him. Now the reason why player four is our number one option here is because player two should be getting majority of the looks or at least defensive looks for him cutting down the middle following up player six. Meanwhile, player 3 is kind of our first yet backup option because he's going to be going about 5, maybe 10 yards somewhere in that zone there and cutting back down towards the line of scrimmage. Now, if the defense is covering player 2 here, we should be able to get the ball out to player 4. If nothing is there, these two players here should be moved downfield because of where player 5 and 6 are going. So that could leave player 3 open short yardage to either then run back down the field or along the sideline. Now in our third play today, what we're going to be having is player 6. He is our number essentially our last option that could be there he's going to go up five yards and cut out towards the left side then we're going to be having player four curl a little bit but going down where the hash marks are downfield straight downfield once he gets about 10 yards he has the decision to then either continue to go straight or he could curl out towards the center of the field and then we're going to have player 2 also at the same 5 yard line where player 6 is. He's going to be cutting out towards the left side. We're going to be then having player 3 doing a quick 5 yard dash out towards the right and then back towards the left going in the same roughly the same line of where he was starting and then he's going to go straight downfield to about the 10 to 15 yard line. So this would have been line of scrimmage this one right here would be the 5, 10, and then 15 yard line. Then he's going to cut out towards the left sideline. And then we're going to have player 5 cutting out towards the left sideline and going straight down. Now, our number one option is player 3. Our backup option is player 5, mainly because if player 3 is able to draw the defense downfield, that could leave player 3 open right here for short yardage. And then in our fourth and final play, what I'm going to show you here is going to be fantastic to get some, some large yardage. Try saying that three times fast. Now, player three is going to be going 10 to 15 yards downfield, same as player two. 
Once they get to that 15 yard down, down yard mark, they're going to be both cutting in towards the center of the field. Meanwhile, we're going to be having player 6. He is going to be going downfield 10 to 15 yards, and depending on what his defensive player is doing, he's going to be cutting left or right back down towards the line of scrimmage at a 45 degree angle. Meanwhile, we're going to be having player 5 and 4 cross each other right at the line of scrimmage and then go out and curl out towards the 10 yard line. Meanwhile, our number one option is actually player six because the defense should be spread out towards the outside of the field, which should leave the middle open for player six. I hope that these plays help your team win more games. If they do, let us know in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you and I'll see you guys again in our next video.